three Russian crimes, potentially worse than a nuclear attack. Russia has toned down its nuclear escalation rhetoric. In fact, Russian officials stopped mentioning nukes altogether, but their tactics on the ground have become more destructive. Some of them are a lot worse than tactical nukes. Russia seems to be favoring a scorched earth policy. It was typical for Stalin during World War II. It's also a favorite of ISIS militants. The idea is destroying agriculture and any infrastructure. The Russians always resort to this tactic when they start losing. Here are some examples. 1. Blowing up the Kohovka hydroelectric dam. There's no doubt that the dam was destroyed on purpose. The Kohovka dam was a massive structure. At its thinnest point, it was around 300 feet thick. But that's just the tip of an enormous underwater structure. This was all heavy, reinforced concrete. There's only one way to destroy it from outside, a nuclear strike. Within the dam were huge turbines. The turbine room is apparently where the explosion occurred. It would have taken days and tons of explosives to mine it. The dam had been under Russian control since March 2022. The photos show the turbine room completely collapsed. Moreover, the Russians bragged about mining the dam in 2022. The destruction of the dam has changed the entire landscape. In the immediate aftermath, entire towns were flooded. Hundreds of thousands of people lost their homes. The number of human and animal casualties is still unknown. Arable lands in southern Ukraine are ruined. The problem is irrigation. With the Kohovka Reservoir gone, the fields will die. Crimea, annexed by Russia in 2014, is also without water now. Another consequence is the largest ecocide in recent history. Thousands of cubic tons of fresh water spilled into the Black Sea. The water had become contaminated with waste, dead bodies, and chemicals. This will kill almost all marine life in coastal areas. The wider effects on the Black Sea in the Mediterranean are unpredictable. 2. Blowing up the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The power station is also occupied by Russian forces. It's the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. They have placed explosive charges into the reactors. The station may go into meltdown, even without it. Its cooling ponds fed from the Kohovka Reservoir, now gone. A meltdown could contaminate up to 770,000 square miles. Radioactive isotopes will make the area uninhabitable for 6,000 years. The fallout may reach Western Europe, depending on the wind. The nuclear power plant supplied 20% of Ukraine's pre-war power. That's another thing to think about. 3. Blowing up Crimean Titanium Crimean Titanium is a huge plant in Ermyansk, northern Crimea. It's one of Europe's largest manufacturers of titanium dioxide. The Russians rigged the plant with explosives back in February. Reports say they might blow it up if the Ukrainians reach Crimea. The plant would be in the way. Crimean titanium requires a lot of water for production purposes. It also needs water for waste treatment and disposal. But the Russians themselves cut the plant's water supply off. With the Kohovka Dam gone, the North Crimean Canal has dried up. It's applied fresh water to the entire Crimea. The plant has been shut down, but it's still full of sulfuric acid concentrate. Tens of thousands of tons are held in large tanks. If they're damaged, an acid cloud will cover the region. It will corrode metal, wilt plants, and cause chemical burns to humans and animals. Breathing it in will cause inflammation and possible death. If it leaks into the soil and groundwater, it will reach lakes and the sea. That will be another environmental catastrophe. But the chlorine fallout will be much worse. Chlorine vapors can quickly spread over vast territories. They are lethal to humans, animals, and plants. The chlorine cloud may reach Romania, Turkey, Bulgaria, and even Russia. Will the Russians risk it? Should we wait and find out?